good, you're good. Look at this guy coming out. Very safe. Look at this guy. I'm really good. We asked you to step away from the car several times. No, you didn't. Ask me once. Why do cops have bad attitudes? Aren't they supposed to be professional? And why do cops act smart when 99% of them only have high school diplomas? We've seen cops show up ready to pounce because of a person with the camera, but they acted like the biggest cowards known to man in Uvalde, Texas. Heroes? I'm not buying it. That was yesterday's news. The people know it. The left wants more government, and the right wants to enforce it. They never learned the First Amendment, folks. That was a big lie. A sham. One big joke. They tell you that ignorance of the law is no excuse, but they'll turn around and tell you that they don't have to know all the laws because there's just too many of them in the books. That is police hypocrisy 101. And I do want to say that one cop was acting like an idiot and the other cop, in my opinion, was trying to de-escalate. Check out this video from Aaron Larson. Let's get right to the video, folks. Investigation is still open. This is your badge number. The truck number is 100. What's your badge number? I already told you. Tell me again. 1017. And your full name? Shimatori. Shimatori. And who's your supervisor? Tulsa. Tulsa. And he's the local supervisor for West Bradenton? For Bradenton, yes. For Bradenton? Well, this is your district. For Bradenton? Yes. Because this is West Bradenton. You have Central, East, South, North. So you get out of your truck and you approach me with an attitude. I asked you to not answer any more, to not ask any more questions. No, you didn't ask me. I did. No, you didn't. I said it's an ongoing investigation. I can't tell you. I got else. everything on recording and audio. That's great. Do you need me for anything else? Yes, I was curious about my safety, oh, if I needed to leave. One. I asked if I needed to leave, didn't I? Didn't I? Nope. nope. Didn't ask me Camera leave. Camera doesn't lie, and neither does audio. I got one too, and it's going live right now. I got no problems with police, but when I ask certain situations, why do you get upset and angry at me? Because I don't have to tell you. That's the if it's an open investigation, I have nothing to tell you anyway. You have That's nothing it, to man. tell me. And if I, I and, and if that. I request your supervisor because you're being arrogant and angry with me because you have nothing. Not for this. Okay, that's all I need to know. If I need to leave, should I be scared? Are you evacuating? Are you just evacuating the area? You seem like a level. Out. What's your badge number? I'm Williams. What's your badge number? 1082. Right. Nice uh, to meet you, Williams. Well, I'm going to come talk to you. Okay, Mr. Williams. Listen, I don't know where you're going with this, all right? You came over to us. We said Your buddy is, jumped out looking like he was ready to fight. That's where I'm going with this. Because how many times you got to tell you? And this I got state attorneys that'll rip your asshole, right. I, bro. I, I understand. You got state attorneys. If all is retired corrections, you know what yeah. the judges... Like and I know my here, rights you, as, a, right. as a civilian. You came over here and you prefaced it with that. I understand that. You don't see us, right? You seem like a reasonable You're a person. rookie, bro. You, you need to ease up on your tension. That's what needs but, to happen. You, you, don't you ain't going to do that on west side of Bradenton. You can go to east side of Bradenton and do that. Listen. Uh-oh. The cop in the passenger seat just got mad and got out. Looks like he wants to escalate the situation. Keep watching, folks. What, did I, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Voice of my opinion? And he's gonna come over here and show his attitude. You're good. You're good. Look at this guy coming out. Very safe. Look at this guy. I'm really good. We asked you to step away from the car several times. No, you didn't. Ask me once. Did he ask me to step away? We're taking off our investigation. Okay. All right. I just worried about my safety. You're a servant. You have no. You're dismissed. You have no. You have no reason to be be alarmed, right? When I'm. I'm scared. You see us evacuating the area? Not yet. I see your partner when, jumping when, out, causing me an attitude. Because you come over, you preface it with, you know the judges, you know X, Y, and Z. It's even I know my rights. Seat. You're dismissed. Yeah, you can go sit down. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. I no longer need your service. You're a public servant. That's great. You're dismissed. Guess what, bro? That's great. So you need us we'll anymore. That's fine. We got to do this. Nice to meet you. So, you're cordial. Right. I respect that. How many Except years you been in the service? So I'm new to the area. <laughs> so. You're doing a good job. Right. Thank you. Give, give, give back. All right. Train your partner how to be respectful. Public servant. Right there. Bye. Bye bye. Learn some respect, public servant. You're dismissed. What did we learn from this video, folks? We learned that cops learn nothing about the people's rights. 
they went through the academy, but what did they learn there? In many police interaction videos that I've conducted myself, I've asked a lot of police officers if they know the First Amendment of the Constitution. A very high percentage of them don't know it. Why do you think that is, folks? They weren't trained properly. This is an embarrassment in my opinion. And because of this, the people have had to go out and teach the cops what the First Amendment is. And we're going to teach it to you right now, so hopefully you can teach a cop in the future. You have a freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble, and freedom to petition your government for a redress of grievances. Those five elements of the First Amendment mirror your natural born rights. And I want you guys to know and understand that those documents, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, they don't give you your rights. They're supposed to limit the scope of authority that public officials and police have over you, the people. Well, no wonder they don't want us to know it. They want all the power and they want all the control. And when you don't know your rights, folks, you give them that power. Don't let it happen. You guys go subscribe to this channel. I'm going to drop the original link in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for my channel as well. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.